I'm not gonna play the whole thing. <laughs> I think a couple minutes of it's fine. I've uh, I've never actually I've listened to this song so much I've never actually played along to it. So for a first time or like first or second time playthrough, I think that's not terrible, right? And uh, you know, of course I could have done. You know, if I wanted to talk about today's uh. I guess rating reaction video. Anyway, we're gonna be doing Kai Kisuke's uh, theme, which is Roar the Spark. And uh, I guess we should get that loaded up. And uh, we've listened to this before. We listened to the preview of it. And uh, yeah, um, so far it sounded really, really solid. And I really enjoyed it. So uh, let's go ahead and let's pull up the video. Play. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I played it like that. I had a pick in my hand, but uh we're we're going to be in D. So I'm going to drop D. There we go. All right. So, before we get into that part, it's, uh... Something like that. Okay, this is a really cool- this is very power metal. Okay, let's- let's go back. I think I can play this part. Okay, so it's playing around in here. Do you hear that? There's a really nasty... Ugh, there's a nasty frequency going on in there. Listen to that. It might just be me. Hold on. These are also 
pretty well balanced. Oh, it's even worse. It's even worse. Wow, okay. So, there's something that's really, really on the high. Kind of like in that sound. Uh, it sounds kind of like that. Right here. But anyway, um, I think the part is something like... And then it's doing a... Uh... Somewhere around in there. But uh, that is a really cool riff. I like that. It's a... Uh... Right? That's really cool. Uh, let's listen to this. And then here's the part that we've heard. Okay, so, uh, it sounds like it's uh, the ride. It's a ride symbol that's playing that. Like, listen for that. I don't know how, why I can make that noise on my guitar, but, you know, it's really funny because it's like the same, it's the same tone. Like, you can hear it. Listen. Right? So this part I really like. Um, let me just quickly. Oh yeah, this is the Gamma Ray Halloween part. This motherfucker actually go and just play But play it like up here. Really? You gonna bring holy orders into into this? Dice gay? But uh I really like this this gamma ray. It's so good. And then we're back to the... God, that is so good. The riffing on this is so intricate, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Oh, okay.
That's really cool. The, uh, he's kind of doing a... So uh, he, he's a... Uh, what is that? It's kind of like... Uh, it's really cool. Um, Dream Theater's done this before. This is a really cool uh, kind of... It's, it's kind of a really cool uh, riff to do. Especially in power metal. You'll do... So they really like to take the uh, the higher note and just start moving it up a fret, and uh, that's it's it sounds really cool. Like it sounds great in this part. Let's. Very cool. Oh, and then we're back to Halloween. Very cool. I really like the song. It's just that when we get back into the... We start getting that really nasty... ...noise. And it just, it's killing me. That frequency should not exist. It is a very nasty frequency. That should have been caught very early on. I don't understand why why it's... Is, is it like that in the game? Can anybody who has an audio system or can listen to this with headphones or whatever. Can you guys tell me if that's actually in the the game or the song by itself? Are you guys hearing the same thing that I'm hearing? Because I'm hearing it, and I don't know if it's just the recording of this or what, but uh, it's got that really nasty high frequency that needs to, needs to go. <laughs> I don't know how it would not have been caught when uh, mixing and mastering was involved. I'd like to say it probably, i like to say that, you know, they would have caught it, you know? So weird. Okay, so, uh, let's, let's just continue on, right? It's back. It's in this part, too. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, we're at halftime.
Very nice. Very nice. Um, this song is just like I thought it was going to be. Uh, one of the best songs, probably my favorite one that I've listened to so far. That that uh, we've got such cool riffs going on, especially the. I think it goes something like that. And then, you know, the... We got, like, that kind of riff going on, but the, uh, the highlight is that the, um... The, the something, the sacred fires, or whatever he's singing, the... That uh, Halloween power metal part, super cool. Uh, interesting parts are the... Uh, or however it's played. That's also interesting. The solo was really good. It's a... Uh, the solo is super blaze blue. Let me, let me go back to the solo. This part is actually very cool. I believe this is right before the solo. Yeah. The riff going on in the background is super good. And then we got this. This is so cool. And then it goes pretty well back into the... But, uh... And if you guys don't know, he's just playing it... He's playing it up here instead of... Which is, uh, very clever, because he wanted to stay in the... He wanted to stay in the same key, and instead of just, I guess, shifting everything down to E so that he could play... He just decided to play it up higher to keep it, I guess, uh, in the... Just to keep it, I guess, in the same key, but it's very cool the way that he did that. Very, very cool. Uh, this song is super great. You know, I dig it. I really dig it. Oh, God. Why am I subjecting myself to that frequency? I'm just gonna play it out to the end. Or almost to the end. I just want to hear this. And then he slows it down, which is really cool. That one is really cool to have it slow. To kind of do it in half. I guess you call it half time. solid ending so overall overall it's super good this is uh right now 
right now, after listening to Axel's theme, May's theme, Ramlethal's theme, and now Kai's theme, I mean, the other three already had that bias, right, of just not being something that I dig too much. Uh, except for Ramlethal's theme. I think Ramlethal's is probably my favorite out of those three. Uh, Kai's easily is my favorite one right now. And, uh, yeah, no, I knew this was going to be a really strong song, especially from the start, um, when we heard the preview of it. Sounded really good. Easily one of the best songs on the soundtrack. And, uh, so far, well, best song so far, we're going to have to see. We still got several more themes to go through before I, uh, make or render my final judgment. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, you know what, this one seems to be a little bit more accurate, but then again, uh, Kai seems to have always been kind of straightforward, but there's a lot of intricate guitar work going on, and I barely scratch the surface on what he's playing. A lot of the, the, uh... A lot of that stuff, there's a lot more going on. And, uh, the solo was good. There's a lot of great guitar work. And, uh... Aside from that really bad frequency, right? You guys all hear it. I don't know if it's just this version of the song. I'll have to go listen to other uh, versions of it on YouTube to see if it's like that on uh, other recordings. But it's really nasty sounding. I don't know why. But uh, other than that, super, super solid. Super dig it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be pumping this a lot more. <laughs> I love this song. It's great. But uh, yeah, if you guys like that, um, make sure that you subscribe, like, and all that stuff, and uh, share it around. Uh, I'll be doing other, I'm doing the entire soundtrack. I know you guys have been requesting some Blaze Blue stuff, and uh, I think I'll start doing other games after I finish Strive. So um, we've got some more songs to go through. We still got, what, three quarters of the roster to go. We've only done four characters. And uh, yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video. There's the Patreon if you want to get video like this and others a day early. Uh, access to it a day early before it shows up here. And uh, as well as there's other videos like stick videos and stuff that go up there uh, a day before. And that's for about as that's for about a dollar a month, just as little as a dollar. Uh, there's the Teespring store. If you guys want to pick up a shirt or hoodie or whatever. And then we also have uh, Twitch. There's a giveaway still going on. You can win a Kwanba Pearl, like that white one that's right back there. You can win something like that. Uh, you just got to go to the link down in the description and you can uh, see all the details there and how to enter. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video, whether it's a reaction or a stick video or whatever. And uh, take care, everybody. Peace.